Hi guys, this is Rebecca with Our Games, and we are back in The Sims 4 doing the Not So Berry Challenge. And we are continuing on in our Peach Gen today. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to start in this part today because last time Georgia aged up to a young adult and we moved her, we moved her to her new neighborhood that she was going to live in. Because um, for Peach Gen, you have to live in a world other than the one you grew up in. So Georgia grew up in Tartosa. So when she aged up to young adult, I moved her to Windenburg, where uh, she will be staying. And I moved her into an empty lot, and I built her a house, which I have a video on for like a speed build of it that I did. Um that you can watch if you would like, but um, obviously the house is <laughs> here now. This is the house I built for her, and when I did the speed build and, and the video, I didn't have any like landscaping or anything on the outside of the house, <laughs> so I do have that now, so it looks a little more like someone does live here. Um, but yeah, this is the house. It's the outside of it. It, it's a little strange, I'll admit, but, um, <clears throat> you know, it, I'm not a builder, <laughs> but I do like it, and, um, I think it fits Georgia pretty well, so, this is, <laughs> this is Georgia, <laughs> um, so I've got her, um, cooking a gourmet meal here, serving some butternut squash soup. Because I am going to have her start a family club gathering once she has the food cooked. Um, just kind of as like a housewarming type of thing. Because we haven't had a family gathering with the club for a while. So I'm going to have her do that. Just because it's her first day in a new house. And she hasn't started her new job yet as a detective. Her first day of work with that. Hey! Uh, her first day as detective is going to be tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> we get to start her in her detective career that she has to master, and um, also start the lookout for our new, our new, for our future spouse because we do have to marry a coworker in this generation of the challenge. So, um, you know, we'll just start the lookout for that t tomorrow. So, let's go ahead and start a gathering. The family's on their way. I also want to do this gathering today because, um, Dahlia and Darian, and probably Sakura as well, are all going to be very close to the end of their life. They proud they are all elders and I think they all only have maybe a couple days left, so it'll be good to be able to hang out <coughs> with everybody again. This will be good. I'm gonna have her tell some jokes so maybe she can entertain the family as well. <coughs> if anybody wants to watch. <laughs> They're all very engrossed in the TV and music right now. <laughs> Dahlia's <laughs> dancing away. <laughs> I don't think any of them care. <laughs> She's telling jokes. <laughs> well, Sakura's not here, but she does tend to, like, show up late or, like, not at all to these. So. And the welcome wagon's here as well. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna invite the neighbors in too, because why not? You know? Might get a party. <clears throat> Won't hurt to meet the neighbors. Neighbors, meet my family. How y'all doing? Yeah, it's just a nice little housewarming uh, party here while the neighbors hang out in my entryway. <laughs> and I'm gonna try. I mean, okay. I'll just do the wine. Because I feel like that's a hard drink to mess up. I'm going to make some drinks for everyone if they would like. 
them. Because I have this bar, I feel like I might as well use it. Do the easy one, because she's never made drinks before, so. It's just, just the food. I'll say she's just carrying the wine around with her. Yeah, Belinda is George's aunt. That's uh, yeah. Make drinks for everyone. <laughs> she made two <laughs> for her mom, and uh, Alton grabbed one. <laughs> but that's fine. I'll say grab a serving together, and we'll see who all gets some of the soup I made. Okay, because I don't know if I don't think that included the welcome wagon, so that's good. Like I made this kind of like for my family. So, I appreciate that neighbors are here, but like, you know, I guess I'll greet some of my neighbors too. She is going to be, you know, a detective, so I feel like she should get to know her neighbors and be friendly. <laughs> she, she thinks this guy's weird. <laughs> Wait, I don't know, I get a weird vibe off this guy. Oh, he's yelling at us. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Dad immediately stands next to her like, I'm sorry, are you yelling at my daughter? I don't think I like that. <laughs> Just going to start cleaning up a little bit because there's already crap everywhere. <laughs> and I'm sure it's driving Dolly nuts. She is a neat sim after all. <laughs> She's got so many dishes. <laughs> Good carry-in, Georgia. <laughs> She's like, excuse me, excuse me. I, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. This is a new house. <laughs> have a nice drink, hang out with the family. <laughs> so she's got a, a nice house for the, the family club gatherings now. <laughs> she is a foodie. Obsessed with eating, discussing, and cooking high-quality culinary treats. The breathtaking balance of the drink she had. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Georgia. That's funny. All right, it's 5 p.m. Like, you guys have been here since, like, 9, so I think that's a good time. Y'all can hang out if you want, or you can go home, whatever you want to do. Thanks for hanging out, family. <laughs> She's just gonna know. I was like, oh, now I can watch a movie. <laughs> Watching a spooky movie. <laughs> the first night in a new house, you're gonna watch a horror movie. <laughs> I don't know if that's a great idea. To... <clears throat> She's already like, oh, no, maybe I won't do that. <laughs> that's okay, Georgia. Guess you can put this fruitcake away. At least you'll have something to eat. Hello. Random teenager at my door. Like, hello, do you need something? Can I help you? Georgia doesn't seem to like a lot of people that she meets. Let me actually look if I can buy... I mean, I have a lot of points, so let's see... I want to get her the this observant trait because I know that I th that should help with her detective stuff because a lot of times with like suspects some of them have just like traits you have to learn about them to see if that's who they are so that's good um I'm gonna also get her entrepreneurial I still do want her to be real friendly to everybody because, again, she's trying to master the detective career and I imagine it's in, like, this neighborhood and if she wants to reach the top of that career, it's generally, like, an elected position in real life, at least. So it's like, people have to like you for the most part if you want to win, you know, that election, so... We'll be nice to everybody, even if we think they're weird or untrustworthy. She'd be like, okay, thanks for hanging out, I guess, but if you could leave now, that'd be great. 
<laughs> Bye. Off to bed. Oh, there's the piano. <laughs> I put the piano in the stairs. <laughs> How did I do that? Oh my god, whatever. It's fine. This is fun. This will be the detective career. We get to go to work with her and uh, do all that stuff on her job and have to actively participate like we had to do at the first gen with Mindy. And uh, it'll be fun. I like when I get to do that. I can't remember what skills you might have to build in the detective career to get promotions, if any, but that's all right. We'll I'll worry about it when we get there, I guess. I'll just have her practice her comedy while she's already up. Hey, <laughs> comedy level five. <clears throat> I actually really have to think about her needs being good before she goes to work because I have to go with her and deal with whatever needs are low. So, yeah, watch cooking show for some ideas. That's good. That'll that'll be nice for you. All right, I got work in an hour. Yay! I want to go to work with her. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're staying the detective career. Get to see who our coworkers are, get to meet some of them, and do some work. Welcome to the force. It's time to start fighting crime. <laughs> first things first, use a computer to get a case assignment. Alrighty. She's already heading to the computer. I'll let her do that so I know she gets one, because there's a lot of time there's a uh, a shortage of computers. All right, Gwendolyn here. She's pretty. And we got Yoroko Ito over there. I just want to scope out the people here. Who are my coworkers? We got Van Nakamura. Sachiko Kobayashi, Rowan Morita, who's an elder, and Sho Yoshida. Alright. That's just people on this floor. Where am I using a computer? Oh, okay. I'm in the lab. That's fine. Let's get our case assignment, alright? Don't just chat to people online. That's not why you're here, Georgia. Like you might be lazy, but you also want to do good at your job. All right. Assist with a crime scene investigation. You need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the crime scene. Okay. I will do that, but I would like to meet my coworkers here. Just so I can, you know, get to see who I might like or who I don't like. First impressions that I get. Stuff like that. Just going to do a polite introduction for everybody. Okay. So this sim is bro, lazy, and cheerful. All right, but we seem to not like them. We find them annoying, first off. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> but we also hugged him. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I'm literally going to introduce myself to everybody. Maybe not the other elder. Just, just to see if I get any, like, ooh, you know. Anything exciting? Oh, hi, Dustin. Okay, Gwendolyn is lazy as well. Child of the ocean and clumsy. She's also a little flirty right now. And we think she's pretty cool. All right. That's nice. 
Okay. We like Gwendolyn. Awesome. I don't need to be in this whole conversation. I would like to meet everybody if I can. Okay, let's meet this guy. So so. So so. <laughs> so he is lactose intolerant, squeamish, and a bookworm. Oh, attractiveness alert. But we think he is also dramatic. But we're also very attracted to him. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, Georgia. Yeah, breathtaking encounter for the show here. Okay. I mean, he, he is a good look at Sam. <laughs> I just love that she's like, wow, he's dramatic, but wow, is he also good looking? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Extremely attractive. Oh, she thinks we're funny. She knows that we're funny. Oh, good. I like Gwendolyn. I think we need to be friends with Gwendolyn. <clears throat> That's why I like this first impressions mod. It, it really does add some stuff. That's funny. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on this guy. And she's like, hey, are you single? Just out of curiosity. You know, I'm just meeting everybody in the office. I just want to know. He is single. Okay. She's like, ah, interesting. Good to know. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so she's got a little bit of a work crush. That's interesting. Oh, he's sad. Oh, oh, uh-oh, <laughs> oh no, they both have a crush on each other, oh, oh, because he got the same sentiment, okay, oh wow, yeah, so he thinks she's interesting and also has a crush. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, well, Georgia. <clears throat> He's a little older than you, which is fine. Um, he just became a full adult. He has a child. But no spouse. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> so she's got one Sim she works with that she's like, Woo, what a hottie. And then another sim that both of them were like, oh, crush? Oh, I love that. Did I see his traits and I just ignored it? Or did I not learn his traits? He's very sad right now. I did not learn his traits. Okay. Just gonna talk to him for a second. Oh, he's a cat lover. Okay, that's nice. Man, why, why are you so sad? Oh, good soul about death. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, I would assume that's why you're very sad. But, I'm sorry. Uh, she's probably going to be very sad here in a couple days, too. Oh, it's like, I'm sorry. That sucks. Alright. Well, I should really get to work. I just love that. It's like, she's got two options. It is nice, though, that they both... It's a mutual crush for both of them. So it's, I don't know. <clears throat> she does think the other guy is very dramatic. And just because she finds him extremely attractive doesn't mean that she would, you know, necessarily want to date him or that they'd be a good match. Maybe he's not even interested. Okay. Got to focus on work. <laughs> you can find clues. I'll help you track down a suspect. Also, take me yeah. Okay. I've done this career before. I know how it works. All right. So, let's go on in here. 
And let's see if we can find anything that we need to look at. I'm gonna use my cop radar detection real quick. Let's see if I find anything. Ooh. Okay. Collect some evidence sample here. Take a picture. Collect this one. Um, you are a witness. Good. Let's get your report, please. Scanning, scanning. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Hey, Georgia, I think marijuana is pretty cute. Yeah. Go on dates, man. Go on dates. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, there's a nearby. Here comes the hand. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're both just like, oh, oh hi. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? Firefighter flirt. I mean, you could try, Georgia. I'm not... I mean, he's very sad right now. So I don't know if that's the best idea. Yeah. So, yeah, you can discuss the case. He's, he's very sad. And you're also, like, at a person's house. So... Not probably the best time to try to flirt, Georgia. <laughs> but I wanted to let you, you know, take your shot. I thought I did that already too, but... Oh. Maybe I didn't do that. I don't know. Seems a little weird, uh... This career right now, so... I got it, though. Okay, going back to the police station. <laughs> <clears throat> Probably spent way too long there, but that's... Now that you've gathered evidence, time to start tracking down a suspect. Chemical analysis, analyzer, computer to evaluate the evidence. Let's analyze our evidence that we got here. Oh, the chief! I should meet the chief for sure. Flirty introduction. Don't do that. Not with the chief. Once you're running in your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. Okay. She found a clue! Ya boiny! Okay, we will file the evidence. I just want to meet the chief first. Like, hi ma'am, can I- I would like to introduce myself. <laughs> She's like, hold on, I'm, I'm chatting. <laughs> yes? Oh, she doesn't like us. <laughs> but we think the chief is reasonable, so that sounds that sounds good. I need to make I'm gonna make a club another club, I think, for uh, her coworkers. So they can all hang out and get to know each other and have fun outside work. Yay! Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow you'll, you'll learn the next steps. Now take some help. Take some time to help process criminals here at the station. Okay. Well, I've only got 30 minutes, and that's honestly not enough time to do that. Because of how much everything takes. There's a ghost in here. She's so pretty. She does not like the color red. Okay. George did a good job today. Alright. First day of work done. I am going to make another club. I'm going to do an invitation only. The hangout will be my house for now. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, uh, let's just give it that. Um, I'm going to call it the squad. <laughs> Requirements are career detective. Okay, you have to be in the detective career. Um, maybe age, young adults and adults only. <laughs> Sorry, elders. 
And then that should be in it. I don't care if they're single or not. This isn't my dating, a dating club. It's just to be, <laughs> to meet friends at work, to get to closer to friends. Okay. <clears throat> Social. You're going to be very friendly to everyone. I think we're going to be funny to everyone. All right. So we're obviously going to add Van and Gwendolyn, Show, Sachiko. I, uh, well, that's the chief. Maybe we shouldn't do that with the chief. We'll invite London, too. And I didn't meet this girl. Bro oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Group's full. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yay! The squad! <laughs> and honestly, come on over, friends. I do have the upstairs locked for anyone but Georgia, basically. Oh, Gwendolyn! So cute! You look nice outside your uniform. Uh, hi, everybody! I'm so sorry that you're sad. Oh, I'll console her about her death, the death, too. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> yeah, she's all flirty. She's like, oh, my crush is here, plus that really, really attractive coworker. What are you wearing, Van? Okay, so... <laughs> just for myself, and I hope it doesn't ruin... I mean, they're still going to have the crush sentiment. But I guess... Let me look at how attractive she thinks Van is already, anyway. Just attractive. Okay. Hopefully I don't ruin it by putting CC on these guys, but for the two interests that are currently there, I am going to put my CC stuff on them. It's just so I can also get a closer look at them. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that real quick. I'll just show you the end result <laughs> so I don't waste a bunch of time on here doing that. All right. So yeah, for his face, I really didn't do much. Just changed the eyebrows a little bit, gave him eyelashes. That's about all I really did. So, he looks good. Um, I might change this outfit a little bit. Uh, I don't know what the pants. Yeah, there you go. Honestly, that's fine. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, then I'll do the same with show here. So here is show with a little bit of skin details on. So he didn't have any previously. And I changed his eyebrows a little bit because they were weirdly shaped. <laughs> okay. And honestly, your outfit is fine. Okay. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. Just a little bit of CC up. <laughs> I like that they just all come hang out here and like watch movies together and <laughs> maybe have some drinks. I guess I'll have her also make a nice meal. That would be good. Well, let's just make some nigiri. I feel like that'll be fun. Make some nigiri for everybody. Are you guys related? You have to be, right? You got the same last names. And you do kind of vaguely look similar. I wonder if they're related. That would be fun. Brothers or cousins or something. <laughs> Like, everybody come get some nigiri! I just made it! It's awesome! It's excellent quality. And it's lactose free, so I, I just remembered that show is lactose intolerant, so you should be fine. <laughs> She's just so flirty right now. Discuss favorite recipes. I'm going to end the gathering here soon because it's, it's getting a little late and I don't want it to... Yibs. Oh, he's happy now. <laughs> the, the slow turn even while paused was really funny but also very, like, scary. I didn't like that. Oh, oh man. 
Well, they're both wearing like green shirts. <laughs> That's funny. Because the next gen is green gen as well. <laughs> God, it's like you guys are really close to each other right here. It's like, hey, I like your outfit. <laughs> okay. We can stop now. You guys can go home if you want. It's like, I'm not saying you have to, but if you'd like to go, I understand. We'll put this nigiri in the fridge. And then you should definitely go to sleep. <laughs> you work at 8 a.m., sweetie. It's like 11. Oh, no. Yeah, now she doesn't find Van as attractive. Just kind of basic. But, you know, that's fine. She's still extremely attracted to show, but... You know, she's got a crush on Van. It's not always about being extremely attracted to him. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Dang it, I guess she won't go to work today then, will she? Oh, it says work in two hours. Okay. Maybe I turned off the, like, day off work stuff for it. I don't know. <sighs> Hot daydreaming. <laughs> She's thinking about show. Ugh. Okay, well, you know what? Why don't you invite show over? Just to see, because she's so attracted to him. You know, thinking about him. Like, maybe I just, you know. See how that goes if you guys hang out. Too full of yourself. This other sim's airs of being full of themselves are not gaining them any favor in George's eyes. So yeah, she just really thinks he's so overdramatic. Why don't you goof around and see how he takes that? Because it's kind of an important part of your personality. <laughs> okay. Seem to take that okay. Hello? Can I help you? <laughs> Sir? Oh. Ooh, he did not like that. Okay, so he would rather not flirt with us. Now he's like, ugh. Okay. Maybe he's not interested in Georgia that way. And that's totally fine. Honestly, I'm kind of preferring Van. <laughs> I'm kind of preferring the work crush. So, I'm okay with that. He's embarrassed now. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. That's why it's again, it's like, just because you're very attracted to this person doesn't mean that you're going to have a good relationship or, or that you both even want one. So, they can just be work friends. That's totally fine. Oh, no. Dahlia! Oh no! Dahlia has passed away. Oh no. I mean, I knew it was coming real soon here, but... Oh, and there he is! No! Not on the same day! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Georgia! I guess it's good that you didn't have to go to work today, huh? <laughs> Training day two. Train harder. There's <laughs> still a bit more to learn before you'll be ready for your own case. It's time to get out to the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure. After that, you'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Get a move on, rookie. <sighs> All right, let's go on patrol because that's what we're supposed to do today. So we're going to be going on patrol, just watching to see if any sims are fighting or littering, breaking the law. <laughs> Still don't see anything happening. <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> Georgia! Citation! What are you doing? I was just talking to you and you seemed adventurous. Uh, 
I said to issue one citation. Now I'm going back to the station. Okay, I've processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin. APB. You have a rough description of the suspect. The more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. I know it said suspect's male wearing jeans and a jacket with blonde hair. I feel like that's enough to probably not arrest the wrong person. <laughs> Let's issue an APB. Let's do it. <laughs> I love the music. Okay. They've been seen around here. We're supposed to ask people if they've seen anyone like that. If you see anything suspicious, ask about the suspect. Have you seen this man? Jeez, Lilith, you scared me. <laughs> Yips. Y'all are wearing jackets. Although you don't really have jeans on. Oh, over there, you said. I just saw someone like that over there. Alright. Is it this guy? I can't really go by their actual hair color. Since I have so much CC hair, the game might think that they have blonde hair and it could look like that, so... I forgot that I can't really rely on that unless they have like in-game hair. Isn't that him right there? Possibly. That's a teen, sir. But I'll ask him about it. Sorry, but I can't help you. Hmm. Because those aren't jeans. Those really... I don't know if they'd be considered jeans. Those might be. Mateo, are you trying to pull something on me? I'm trying to see what, what kind of pants he got on. Those might be jeans. You know what? I'm going to arrest him. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not wrong. Like, I found you a delinquent. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Like, I was coming inside, dude. You don't have to get up. Oh, he's happy today. That's good. Oh, he's happy today. That's good. It's like, no, I'm very sad. I still don't know his other traits. And when I was in cast with him, I didn't even look for some reason. So I don't know what his other traits are. Um, I think I have to use the get to know interaction. With the observant trait, I think it'll tell me the other ones. Uh, Child of the Ocean. Okay. Oh, are you evil, Chief? <laughs> Gonna do a little bit of flirt here. Real quick. Just compliment his appearance again today. Say, hey, you look good today. Well, I told her to, and then she didn't. She's researching the piano right now, too. Yay! She's promoted to an officer. Nice. Oh, and she will work on Saturday. Cool. All right, let's go on home. Got our first promotion in the detective career. <laughs> Made our first arrest. Hopefully it was the right person. <laughs> I didn't get an age, which would have been helpful, but... Well, Spice Festival's in town. All right, we'll have to do that on the, in the next part. She took her peach eyes off for work, but that's fine. So I'm going to end this part here. Um, we have made some progress today with Peach Jen. Uh, I'm getting started in the career, finding some possibilities for a future spouse with the coworkers. I'm not totally locked in to, you know, one choice yet. If I meet someone else that I find interesting that I also, you know, maybe want to think about, I will, you know, think about it. Because she just became an adult, a young adult. So we got time. So in the next part, we will go to the Spice Festival right away. Because I feel like that'd be a perfect festival for Georgia to attend. And um, keep working away at her career and her comedy and see who we meet so if you would like to see that or see any more videos from me you can subscribe 
If you like this video or have liked the series, you can let me know by leaving me a like or a comment down below. And thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.